Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Starting chapter 13, I think. After wresting it from the Empire's control, Squad 7 left Bruel for Nagyar, the stage for this war's grandest battle. Even as they traveled, an increasing number My wife's of soldiers making noises. She thinks she's showing up on camera camps. or microphone. Both sides braced to feel the brunt of the other's army in the fight for all of Gallia. General, as I've said a hundred times now, I was going to mention this guy because I feel like we haven't tactics. heard from him in With months. With the disparity in numbers, it's I mean, it has been to months. send the Gallian forces on an all-out attack. We'd stand better chances centered around our defensive holdings, fending off advances. The enemy have gathered in one place for us. We can't let this chance slip by. If you had a bunch of bombers, maybe, but... If we win this one battle, we'll be able to kick those imps out of Gallia for good. General, we lack the manpower to break through an enemy force that large. If we're short on soldiers, why aren't you out drafting more farmhands for us? Do you honestly plan to let our countrymen die needlessly out there? When attack, if not now, Varad, we will win this battle. We must. Is that thing that we'll Valkyria Chronicles has got at them. like A loves? Casualties are going to be of like, hey, here's the other side. Not that bad. Because like he's got a point. If you've got time, we're to we're in there, war. Friend, People will die. Those like of yours. at some point, peeps are gonna die in war. Understood. That just does kind of happen. I and like, my best. maybe he's not in the wrong, you know? I fully expect him that, you know, he could be. And like, there could be a lot of deaths under his command that are kind of unwarranted, but... Sorry, I'm late. At some point, you gotta, you gotta accept that people will die mid-war, you know? We deploy him? We're still on standby. I'm figuring we'll get the order to move out a bit past noon. Gotcha! Is everybody ready to go? All set and waiting for the word. But it sure looks like the enemy's got us in numbers. They do. The invading front's nearly all here. This one's gonna be a major battle. It'd be kind of interesting if we get, like, several, like, multiple huge pitch battles per chapter and, like... I've made my peace with it and all, but... <laughs> Seeing them all lined up out there is heavy. Yeah. Guys, can I say something? Um, I grew up in an orphanage. I don't have a family, and I always thought I was alone. But Welkin showed me I was wrong. That I wasn't alone at all. Not anymore. The sevens are... I'm glad she asked if she could say something, because, like... This is kind of a heavy thing to drop mid-conversation of like, man, we might die. You know, you guys are my family. <laughs> Before a big battle like this, it's scary. I figure I feel just like all of you do. But when I think I'm here alongside my family, I feel strong enough to fight. Family, huh? My old folks are gone, and I got no siblings, but I bet this is what it's like. Aw, oh, poor Largo. Of course, any siblings of mine would have grown up a lot better acting than you lot. Sounds odd to say it, but you're right. And I bet Isara's watching over us all. <laughs> all right. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's go put holes in those tanks. Yeah. Then let's I feel all like we're going together. to need a plan B. We'll get through like, this fight. And I'm, I'm, so, I myself, me, Alfred, is certainly down to go in and just deal, you know? I am perfectly fine to just start and be like, hey, let's go. I'm certainly good if, like, if this is just, like, gonna be our normandy moment when, like, everybody no dies. All troops have arrived at Nagyar but, like, hey, we, we, we make up a lot of ground in it. I'm this cool with that, but I kind of feel like Welkin is going to make some sort of plan. He normally land, does. Please. Make it so. 
Silvaria, you have never failed I really love the fact that like he's so full of himself that even the subtitles even the subtitles I exist because you exist will <laughs> allow him to use go with my trust. like first person personal pronoun we capitalized sir like the fact that he's grace. using royal we and the you subtitles are like let's capitalize that for you sir I was a worthless I wonder I wonder what that looks like in Japanese um cuz I know that there's a lot of pronoun shenaniganery in in Japanese like you say watashi if you want a gender neutral singular personal pronoun like i or me and then like you have like boku if you say something as a young boy like you are a young boy and you say who the hell do you think i am you say boku wo dare da tomo te agaru i don't even know what that means nosotros is we in spanish yeah <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, the Spanish king probably did it. He was full of shit. Um, but yeah, and then if so, like Boku is for if you're saying something as a boy and you're young in Japan. And then if you're a boy and you're an adult in Japan, you say ore. And so like you'll see like in an anime, there will be like a care. It's a character piece where but your grace took me from that place. I should be paying attention to this also. <laughs> like, it's a character piece where you see a boy who is too young to be using Ore, but he feels so full of himself that he is using Ore. Or someone who's unsure of themselves still using Boku. Or, like, like a really tough lady will use Ore, and, like, not because she's, like, trans or anything. It's just, I'm masculine and still a woman. I will use Ore. Then awaken the powers within you. I betrayed the trust you placed in me. No, Grace. Once I learned that the Valkyria's powers I feel like only I feel like this was the subject of a different game. I didn't hesitate a moment. I would gladly pierce this breast again, even now. I know it's like a, you know, a, a poetic thing to say breast when you mean chest, as in like, when chest is the biological thing of ribs, whereas room, breast is where the heart is, like, poetically. And so, like, piercing somebody's chest is just like, uh, they got, they got hit in the, in the torso. But, like, piercing someone's breast means that they were stabbed in the heart. Never until then. But, like, that doesn't exactly flow in modern English. Chest means the anatomical area that usually just consists of the ribs back and breast means the titties now is the time to show the world the power that i feel like it's owns. so maybe it's weird i feel like one thing that is like kind of weird about this game is that like go forth Silvaria. it has such an anime aesthetic but it uses so many like yes. interesting and and factual versions of like world war one and world war two stuff that like Multiple times I've been expecting and waiting for the big anime stuff. Also, yeah, I guess we're fighting her now. Yippee. Maybe not now, but, you know, presumably soonish. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it's our Normandy moment here. Though we did get the beach last time, but now... Not last time, like, a couple last times. Where's the beach? Thanks, at 015. Gallian forces approaching. Approximately two regiments. Silly fools. <laughs> now feel the power of the Valkyra. But yeah, like, there's so much anime stuff in this game that I almost expect it to be more anime, because, like... Look, the, the the lady in the forces of the enemy does not have the whole uniform. She instead has a sex reversion that exposes her shoulders, you know? Wow, that's raw. Like, going into this game, I expected that it would be more anime, but it has way more World War II. It's literally just, like... Like, this is less anime and more World War II than, like, Axis Powers Hitalia. And that's, like... Maybe that's a weird thing to, to mention here, but... I don't know. Okay, so battle started. Showed it at Nagyar 1. Also, I really don't like how Alicia's in the crosshairs there. Like, literally in 4B or hyphen B. 
Oh, man. This is a full-scale showdown against the Empire's entire invasion force. Here are the details. Okay. I still feel like we haven't had anything as, like, nuts as... Expansive network of trenches. Oh, we got trenches, boyos. We've been trying to dig trenches, but we have an order for an attack. Avoid enemy fires. You make your way into the trenches and commence offense. Occupy the base camp. And hey, a no man's land. Rockets? That's new. They can't hit you in the trenches, but the flatland area will be caught in the blast. It's issued from the enemy's camp midway across the combat area. So we can stop it if we get there. And you won't have your tanks to start. Interesting. Tanks can be deployed from that point on. Until then, it's up to foot soldiers. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I'm getting afraid. Let's put in two of you guys. Let's put in a sniper and I feel like it's I feel like it's a little unjustified to have uh, an engineer if we don't it's have a tank cuz like I know that the engineers can buff up stuff other than the tanks but like Well, here we are, I guess. I guess. That enemy camp looks awfully well protected. This one's going to come down to slipping past the enemy fire and into their lines. Lieutenant Gunther, that Valkyria from Barius has been sighted here as well. I the still have zero idea of what the hell to do about her. To her as we speak. Are you serious? It's possible she'll head this way before much longer. Keep your eyes open. I feel like the army forgot about that. Like, assuming that we're the army and they are the militia. I feel like they forgot about the fact that there was, like, you know, this war demigod. Okay, let's go in as somebody tough. Oh god, I just try to hold right trigger to run faster because I've been playing so much Assassin's Creed. Okay, so this is a trench. And in here I will be safe from the rockets, yes? begins it's got me pinned down Gatling bunker bad sign okay get ready to die imps yep just did it again see when you hold RT it Puts you in a first person. Quick, dive into that trench. Are you sure? Oh man, nice and dangerous. Stay calm and get it done. Let's use Alicia. I feel like if we put a lot of guys over here, that might end up getting us killed by like a big well placed grenade, but also okay. like it could end up being fine. Oh, it looks like we start in trenches over here as well. Enemy unit spotted. Wow. Right. We are lighting up like Christmas, sir. Okay. Give him something to think about. Now, run. Okay, I'm gonna go right back into her because My turn, okay. she has the ability to. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Now. Okay. 
Oh, man. This is... This looks pretty dire, I'll say. Are you doing all right? Yeah! Concentrate your fire. Well. Me. Why don't we go to the next turn and see what's up? Oh, man. If somebody can rescue her, that'd be fine and great, but... Okay. Got a whole bunch of extra goodies then, so that's good. Leave it all to me! Do it, generic enemy boy. There's another one. Charge. God, there are many men. Dance, punk. I've got to say that feeling of like, oh my god, I have no idea how I'm supposed to kill this thing. Then turned around to like, Leave it all like to the me. feeling of I have no idea if I'm supposed to be able to kill this thing as a player and then turn around to like these things have almost no chance of killing me Taking the stage. like back when you just have scouts to play as I feel like that's a pretty good moment oh this is a sniper tower that would have been uh, good to know I feel like these maps could do a little more to help me find out what it is I am looking at, you know? I'll take care of it. Okay. I have no I have no idea if he'll survive this or if this will just be like a thing, but like I kind of almost just want to take this as like a burner run, you know? Why don't we catch you up? Get your full movement out. Don't stop, won't you Sweet dreams. Man down, everybody cool. be careful. I yeah, I I'm at a loss for many things here. Try to stop me. Every last one of you can stop me. Man down, everybody be careful. You think bullets will stop me? Jump into that. Why don't we just go back in as you? Just to get you off here, just in case. Just try to stop me. Can you throw it that far? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. This weapon's raging against concrete. Not high, I'll bet. Let's do this thing. Alright. I've got a lot of these, so I should honestly probably use some more, because I really haven't been. Come on, Rizzo. Yep. The attention. Okay, cool. That was a good turn. What is this, 200? 100. Well, it's infinite, so I can just go right back in and pop it again. I'm on. Cool. The idea of, like, we have infinite healing and infinite, like, not infinite, but we have a whole lot of healing and, and resources that others, like, never would have any chance of. Been waiting here. I'm going to use one of his turns just to get him up here because, like, he's got his full movement. I may as well. Don't stop. What 
Don't you leave the trench? You're done. Okay, I think that connected to where I shot it, so. Okay. We could try pushing Largo. Nope, Jan, rather. We just pushed Largo. Hmm. This is, this is, using this more is really nice. Again, it's a, I'm going to turn the game down a little because I don't like how high it's going. I do really like the, the interesting split between um, Gallia and, and the Imperials of like, we have infinite healing and we have way more guys. And granted, I assume that it's only a gameplay thing and that it isn't meant to be like a literal infinite resource. But, like, it's a cool thing of, like, can you heal faster than we can than we can kill, you know? Or can you just replace guys quicker than we can heal? Because that's a, that's a big split. This might actually... I don't want to jinx myself here. But this might end up being, like, a like an easier mission. Oh, they're probably going to capture that base camp because... Well, they would. Yeah, well, that's okay. I guess it could be a problem that they could start reinforcing guys, like, behind us, but also we could just send Edie back and kill one guy. Also, if we get them to use their thing to reinforce. All right, so who's dead? Yeah, you're dead. The problem is that we need, like, a scout to get up there. All right, well, you're in my camp, so I don't think you have the home field advantage here. But I do. Like, getting bonus ammo and bonus attack. I'll, I'll just stand here. <laughs> That's what I will do. Let's do this thing. Okay. Enemy trooper. See, the problem when running forward after you've spent your... Because, like, we have killed a guy. We've confirmed a kill. That's good. But now that we're running forward some more, we don't have another guy. We don't have another turn in order to, to use this, you know? Though we could... Have her come along and help. You think bullets will stop me? And then we get the bonus attack. Ugh. We'll take them by storm. Nice. Next. Man down. Everybody be careful. Can we take this without blowing this up? We can't. Get ready to die, imps. Let's quickly reposition. Cool. Like to see it? I'm impressed. Okay, cool. The Let's target. leave them both here and then... Hmm. The hunt begins. Again, this would be another thing where, like, maybe it would be even better to just leave them on the ground. Now. Like, leave them undeployed, rather. <laughs> nice. Can you make it? But yeah, like, to just leave them there and, like, they don't get... 
they don't have to take their turn. They don't even need to go in. We just use whoever has uh, some some like movement. All right. We need to get Vice up. Because Vice does not have protagonist privilege. May as well, right? Alicia and Largo do, so if they get firebombed out here, it won't be that bad. I've got to say, like, I feel like 90% of, of death and failure comes from getting blindsided by some bullshit, you know? All right, safely evacuated. Can we get two? And then we can, cool. It would be very interesting. The thing about, like, um, the mines is that, like, you step on them, they blow you up, you, you are dealt damage. And then, like, well, that, that sucks. But it would be kind of nice if um, instead there was a thing of like you could use a mine to boost yourself further and actually get a little get a little more go. Okay, I have no chance of getting Largo back, but he'll be fine. Actually, no. Let's start mo Let's start getting some guys back in. Okay, we've lost. Yes. We've lost one of your class, so let's swap you back in. If Edie really becomes a problem eating up turns, but... What's your plan, sir? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, if Edie starts eating up turns back here like nuts, then we can just use the camp to put her back, but... They really don't have much chance of anything because okay now fire back please wow if you take one more step I hope that everyone else lights you up because I feel like that should be what happens no okay attack of opportunity is always one of those things in any RPG where like it's only fun, fair, and cool when it's in your favor, and if it isn't, then it's not. You know? Oh my god, Largo's alive. <laughs> Though, he's not liable to stay that way if the, uh... Reinforcements. He's not liable to stay that way if... We're gonna get more... Mines coming in. Just watch this. <laughs> Never mind, he's at full health. I don't know how. Did they not expect for me to beach him here? Because I I would. <laughs> okay. Let's stay where we're at. In terms of pulling in new guys. If we pull in more guys, it should be because we have a um found one. What is your situation? Oh, hello, sir. Die, die, die. <laughs> that guy got it really hard. Oh, and he's a commander. Next. Man down. I think everybody be careful. It would be perhaps a little facetious to play as the Imperials, but, like, they've shown quite a, a, a high amount of empathy for them. The hunt begins. You know? Also, like, I know that this is World War II and they're the bad guys, but they are not the Nazis. This far alone. Which means that they're a little more justifiable to play as. That was always the thing that bugged me, like, nuts about, like, every multiplayer uh, military shooter set in World War II, and there were many. Let's do this thing. Is that, like... Does anyone really want to play as the Nazis? You know? Enemy sighted. 
like, you guys are going to play as the Americans, the protector of goodwill and the, you know, sky science of freedom and stuff. You guys will play their godless, evil, imperial oppressors. Like, who, who is that for? I'm kind of, um, semi-fond of, like, I think Red Orchestra is the game that does it. Where, like, one of you is playing as the the Germans prior to much of the bullshit, and one of you is playing to, uh, as the Russians. I forget exactly when Red Orchestra is supposed to take place. Also, amazing shot, Marina. Sweet Thank dreams. you. Um, but, like, it came out in a time when, like, Americans did not like... When Americans weren't very yeah, fond of sure. uh, Russians or Nazis. And so, like, that's kind of interesting that, like, both are arguably villainous factions. A lot of people look to Russia in World War II, and it's like, they treat it like that anime thing of, like, hey, I'm a villain, but shit is so bad that you gotta side with a villain just now, like, just cuz. Cuz it's that bad, for real. Go, Jane. Okay. Did not realize that uh, that was there. Okay. <laughs> that was really dumb and should not have worked, but it did. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Are these guys not going to get firebombed or do they have a little safety thing to hop into? Largo we just used, right? I'm ready to go. Frisia can catch up. Time for a quick step. It's just so much responsibility. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Have you got visual on the target? Why did it stop me there? Okay. I just realized that doing that does open me up for a, a delicious, awesome grenade, and that would also annihilate my cover, but. I also don't even have the <laughs> the ability to... Well, he didn't use his turn to shoot a grenade at me. And I spent some command points on... Shall we dance? Wow. That was a nothing turn. I feel like the guy's coming in like... Edie Nelson kind of has this place locked down, you know? Like she's in cover. She's a really good um, shock trooper. As far as I remember, my shock troopers are like my most upgraded units. Yeah, see, like, he did four damage to me yeah! with a gun that shoots five times. <laughs> Embarrassing. That, 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 that tears it, you know? Like, that place is locked down. I don't need to think about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Shall we dance? Okay, so I think using a grenade as... Well, hmm. Because Frisia might get torn apart. Hmm. Rockets, huh? Like missiles? Watch me dance. Well, now... Don't stop once you leave the trench. Damn. I... Damn. I guess, yeah, that's the problem of having, like, not super huge bullet defenses.
go down. Okay, kind of blind firing there. Oh, but it worked. Okay, cool, and she's safe. Okay. Get ready to die, imps. Cool. That works for me. Next. Like, uh, scouts are fine, you know, but, like, I have such a problem with actually using scouts because, like, their health is so low. Like, sometimes it's very difficult to actually, like, use a scout correctly just because their health is so tiny. Okay. I'm unfortunately unable to capitalize on their movement there. The hunt begins. But he's looking over there, so... Wow. Sweet dreams. Good work. Keep it up. Okay. Now I have the ability to capture this thing. Just watch this. I'll continue moving guys up. Just because, like, you know, I can get the full use of their turnout that way. But we haven't even seen the tanks yet. Not to jinx it, but like. We haven't seen tanks, you know. <laughs> we are yet to, at least. Out of range. Okay, he's crouched. And he scooted as far forward as he could be. Let's Rosie has a little bit more movement, so let's use her to grab this. Though I don't think we're going anywhere besides that. Sir, we've occupied the midway camp. Good. That so means there's a gnat in here. In. Little G gnat. <laughs> nice. Ah, so here you are. How have you been since Barius? Oh no, the Valkyrie has arrived. Well, can show a little more confidence, please. <laughs> I need to pay you back for that defeat. Lieutenant, the Valkyria appears to be making her way to our base camp. But she's not here. It's too dangerous to confront her directly. What are your orders? All right. Continue your attack as before. If we take their base camp, she may fall back. It's a race to see which of us can capture the other one's flag first. You probably can't stop her, but sending a few tank rounds her way may slow her down. Interesting. There are dips and divots across the field. Hide your tank in those and snipe at her. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it, they took the camp. I should have... You know what? If I didn't capture this camp, that probably wouldn't have happened. Which means... Okay, so where the hell is Welkin? He's here. Okay. Oh, and Zaka as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, Edelweiss and the Shamrock. Together at last. <laughs> Selvaria. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I really, like... Are we going to develop a gun that sh that kills Valkyries? Valkyrie? I feel like it's weird that they s they decided to have an alternative pronunciation of a Valkyrie. Oh, unnamed Galleon tank. She's running from very far away. I uh. What that woman's capable of? If we're hit with that, it's all over. We need to proceed with extreme caution. Stay in those trenches as you make for their camp. 
Oh boy. Minor damage sustained. Really, dude? Welcome, you showed up here. This is this is dumb. Why would they make the choice to put me in a place where I could be blown up immediately? I suppose that, you know, I could have showed up at any time. But I also don't have a way of knowing in advance that this is where the Edelweiss will appear. Just a little annoying, you know? Like, there's no point of me even using the Edelweiss now because it doesn't have any of its fucking traits. I need to call in one of you and then hope that you survive. Way ahead of you. Okay, so tank rounds are said to slow her down. Whatever the hell that means. Fire. Does it literally just make her take less steps? Does it make her move less? Like, I know that it's possible that I could just, like, have waited to capture that camp, but, like... Uh. Yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of difficulty in this game that is, that is predicated on, like... You had no way of knowing that this would happen. And, and without knowing what the correct movement was, you made the wrong choice. Thank you. Sweet dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. Um, yeah, that's just a little annoying. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Like, uh. Starting to get close to the next episode. New target sighted. Report in. Ain't no stopping me. Well, now we've got to heal you no matter what, because you will definitely die. Hmm. I would really like it if my grenade toss could end up above a building. Get ready to die, imps. Also, now that we've been confirmed that a Valkyria has to, like, a Valkyrie, Valkyria is the plural, I guess. Oh, and Seema the Younger. Didn't we kill your brother? Um, we know that a Valkyrie has to, like, Essentially, like, get devil triggered and they need to be stabbed to the chest or something in order for them to, like, activate their cool powers. So now seeing that, oh, for God's sakes, can none of you throw? Did none of you play baseball? As soon as you've left the trench, start running. Try to stop me. And the last one of you imps. Die, die, die. Next. Just thinking of something. Oh yeah, um you think bullets will stop me? Nope, lost it again. Never mind, don't mind me, everyone. You sure. Oh yeah, I was thinking because we have that, that cutscene where like Alicia has crosshairs over her, and like that's probably bad, but sure what if it's a thing right. where like, oh we thought it was bad, but it isn't. Because it activates her Valkyria stuff, because like we've already seen evidence you that she has sure. like Valkyria shenanigans going on. Die for me, sweetie. 
I like how it didn't do any damage to him. It just blew up the wall in front of him. You know, it gave him something to think about. How should I be trying to move up here? Sure. I'm at I'm at a bit of a loss. Shoot at the thing. Thank you. Okay, that'll help take some heat off the front. Sorry, honey. But you're definitely gonna die in like a turn now. Let's do this thing. Go down. It's maybe funny, funny in the way that like a bad smell is funny. That trooper leads are now upgraded to the fact where they will die in one more bullet than I have in my gun. Okay, let's see where you're going with this. Oh, reinforcement's good. I might be able to get my sniper up and have her take a few shots at you guys, but like, I can't do anything for the Edelweiss now. Like, I need my like I need my engineer to get there so he can so he can fix the treads so the Edelweiss can start to even move. But it might be better for me to focus on my uh, assault here. I imagine that like I I think I mentioned this. I think she's like supposed to be like a really good lancer or something like that. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's one down. And the main reason that that was a problem was because of the additional guys coming in to help. Damage minimal. Thanks for nothing. Seriously, did I do the wrong thing for capturing that? Oh God, is Jane dead? Can I see that? Jane is allegedly okay. Okay. I don't think I'm going to focus on... Oh, I've got to end the episode. Damn. I'll do this next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. Thank you for coming. I'll have a, have a good day, everyone. Bye.